Welcome to my channel and a special welcome to my most recent subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing. If you are new or returning and you haven't subscribed just yet, please consider doing so like right now. <laughs> there is no time like the present. So to kick things off, I am sharing with you the needles I'll be using for this project. I am using the Lavore adjustable needles and the first one you see on screen is the four millimeter and the larger one, which is coming, is the 5.5 millimeter. The reason why I'm showing you this is because in my excitement to get this project started, I accidentally adjusted the 5.5 millimeter needle too far past the last notch and I thought, I had broken it. And when I tell you in that moment, I was super sad. <laughs> I was so sad about it when it happened because it had never happened to me before. And so if you're not familiar with this needle, really quick, uh, it has seven notches that give you seven different heights. And in my second punch needle video, which I will link below, I share a project that shows the different heights. So if you're interested in checking that out, please do see the link below. But back to this video, I am happy to report as the video progresses and you see my nail color change. <laughs> you will see the needle as it should be. So with that said, let's get into this project. This is a gift for a friend of mine who is like my sister and she absolutely loves purple. So some time ago, I asked her what shade of purple does she like and she sent me a list and these three purples, grape, purple, and neon violet were on the list. And to be completely honest with you, the project started off with five shades of purple, but as I got into the project, I decided that three was best and three was enough. So I decided to challenge myself with this project because it is an abstract piece. And I want to point out real quick that portions of my cloth are not as smooth, and that is because I punched that area and then removed the stitches. And later in this video, I will tell you why. So although I love the freedom of this abstract piece, it also made it a challenge to finish because I kept changing my mind as I moved through this project. So projects like my teddy bear or the heart, which I traced, or the letter M, which I have a stencil for, they were easier because they were straightforward. All I had to do was figure out the colors that I wanted to use and the color placement. And if you haven't checked out those videos, I will leave a link for them in the description. And if by chance you just wanna see all of my punch needle projects, I will also leave the playlist for you there too. I can honestly say that I love how this turned out. Like it was not what I had planned for or expected. And I am so happy that I continued to move forward with it because it actually turned out much better than I could have ever imagined. So as I mentioned, I punched a portion of this project and took out the stitches. And I did so for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's real simple. I just didn't like it. And to be honest with you, because this is so forgiving, punch needling is so forgiving and you can just take out the stitches. If I don't like it, I take it out and I start over. And so that is the primary reason why I decided to take out the stitches. And so the other reason is because I wanted to do something slightly different and punch the border first. In all of my other projects that have a border, I always punch it at the end of the project. And what I found is that punching it at the end, it winded up being very tight. And considering that I used three colors, I thought doing it first would be best for this project. I use the five millimeter needle for all of the stitches that have either two or three colors. After the border, the project is punched in the following order. Grape, a purple and grape combo, neon violet, and then I did all three colors, which are kind of hanging out in the center of this project. Then I went with a neon violet and grape, and I actually love these longer stitches. I just, I really, really do. I've used it in other projects, and I love it in this one too. 
Then we have purple. And finally, I ended the project with a neon violet and purple combo. So I wanted to make sure I represented each color individually, at least with one other color and a combination of the three. To secure the loops on the back side of this project, I used Elmer's and Elmer's works for me. I have used it on other projects and I personally have not had a problem with it. After the glue has dried, I cover it with a piece of fabric, which this process that I'm talking about right now, I don't capture on camera, but I will do so in a future video. Please let me know in the comments what you think about this project. I would love to hear your thoughts. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for spending the time. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And thank you so very much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.